Hello out there. I hope everybody's having a wonderful springtime. I'm about to demonstrate a few of the different ways that Carlson Office, Carlson Survey, with the help of the field to finish features that are also found in Serve PC, our field software, uh, the different types of automatic curves we can make. So as you see here, we've got a simple 3D polyline, um, the curve starting at 0.1694 and running up to about 0.16. 97. Right now, we have no codes or instructions as to build a curve, which is why you see a polygonal series of straight lines. So let's see what this software can do. I'm going to type edit pt. This command is also, excuse me, is also available under points, edit points. Okay. Edit pt. I don't want to be selecting corners, that was an accident. Brings up my point list. So let's take a look at that. Okay. Control F to find. I'm looking for 1694. Very good. Edge of pavement for 1694. Here we are. So what I'm going to do here is simply type PC, point of curvature. Without adding any more codes, this will instruct the software to automatically make a three-point curve between 1694, 95, and 96. Let's save and exit our coordinate file and see what happens, okay? So I'm going to survey, draw, field to finish, or FLD to FIN, the command line, FLD numeral to FIN. You may type this in as well. All right. Erasing existing entities, so we're going to replace this line, hopefully with a nice curve. And there we are. Oh, zoomed me back to my extents, but that's fine. Right here we go. And just like I said, between 1694, 1695, and 1696, we have a nice curve. However, you can see we still have some polygonal action here. What if we want the curve to extend from 1694 to 1697? What can we do? Good question. Edit point one more time. So what I didn't mention before, and this does save time uh, normally as a lot of curves are simply you know, three-point curves, but if I don't type anything for a PT for point of termination end of the curve, okay, I'm just going to get automatically three, but I want this one to go up to 1697. Okay, so 94, 95, 96. Let's put the PT on 97. See what happens now. Let's see if it looks any different. Okay, I'm gonna, I like to uh, store that my residuals um, just for checking accuracy this is a setting you can turn on or off to, if you would like to clean up your descriptions that's that's in serve pc so don't worry too much about all that noise save and exit so now you can see it it's listed it in the point description theoretically now if i draw it again we should have a curve that fits a little bit better and goes up to that fourth point drawing Yes, so it did indeed use four points to generate a curve, but it's not so great of a curve. I wonder if there's another way to get sort of a best fit option. What do you think? Of course, we could experiment making the PT 1698, but that would probably come out into the road and skew the accuracy of my line, So, which does represent an actual edge of pavement, end of a road. So let's see what we can do here. Is there yet another thing? Indeed there is. Okay. So first things first, let's get rid of that PT that made it actually a little bit worse than when we just did the automatic three points. So let's get rid of that. Now we're going to go back after our PC on the next point, 1695, going to type A fit. Okay. This is a sort of a best fit option. There is B fit for actual best fit, which will 
you know, if you're measuring along a sidewalk and you've got a little bit of variance, it'll make that a straight line. That's different. A fit, sort of automatic fit, it's going to try to try to make this curve as tangential as possible. So let's see if this is the third bowl of porridge, so to speak. Again, we're going to draw field to finish, FLD, numeral 2, FIN in your command line, and thinking, thinking, crunching numbers, drum roll. There it is. Okay, so I think of what we've done so far, this one isn't too bad. Okay, so thank you for your time. I appreciate this. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, contact information is uh, available below in the description. And yeah, have fun smoothing your lines into curves with Carlson. Have a great weekend.